The final step in the sales process is to record your bank deposit. We'll go over how to do this using the undeposited funds account. This lets you group multiple customer payments together into a single bank deposit. However, this step is not necessary if you already deposited the funds directly into your bank account in QuickBooks during the receive payment process. Let's open the chart of accounts and look for undeposited funds. You are going to move this balance from undeposited funds into your bank account to match your actual bank deposit. If you want to know how payments get into undeposited funds, we cover that in our videos on how to record an invoice payment and how to record a sales receipt. The balance in this account is 12,500 rupees. To record the deposit, select New and then Bank Deposit. Choose the bank account that you are depositing the money to. You can see your current balance with that bank account and you can enter the date that the deposit took place. QuickBooks shows all the transactions from your undeposited funds account. You'll notice the total matches what you saw in the chart of accounts. Here we have check number 987 and then some cash in the amount of 7,500 rupees given to us by a second customer. We are depositing both payments at the bank. So, I'll add a check mark next to each transaction. Now, we see that the total deposit is 12,500 rupees. If you're depositing any extra money along with these customer payments, you can include any additional deposits in this section. The key to this entire process is making sure that your deposit in QuickBooks is for the exact same amount as the deposit you'll see on your bank statement. To complete the process, select Save and Close. Now in the chart of accounts, undeposited funds has gone down to zero and the 12,500 rupees balance moved into checking. Now try recording a bank deposit of your own.